Every year, over 12 million dogs and cats are euthanized at pounds and shelters nationwide. That means that 61% of dogs and 75% of cats that enter shelters or pounds are put to sleep. As a no-kill shelter, the Animal Adoption Center in Lindenwald, New Jersey takes a different approach by treating animals with compassion. They help abandoned and unwanted shelter animals find caring and safe homes. The mission of the Animal Adoption Center is to save unwanted and abandoned companion animals in a no-kill environment. So we work with other local kill shelters um, to save the animals that are on quote-unquote death row and bring them into this environment where they will be safe and we will work with them until we find them a loving home. In addition to rescuing animals from local shelters, the Animal Adoption Center also takes in strays, owner surrenders, and animals from overcrowded high-kill shelters in Georgia and Virginia. We never give up on our animals. We make sure that we provide them with the medical attention they need, the love that they need to become the animals that they're meant to be. Regardless of what kind of vet bills we're facing, what kind of training is needed, um, what kind of transport is needed to get the animals to the right home, we always are willing to take that extra step and make sure that the animal gets what they need to allow them to live to their full potential. One of the many animals that the Animal Adoption Center didn't give up on is Candy. Candy was pulled from a high kill shelter. She is an adorable Jack Russell that unfortunately had some aggression. We hired a trainer who came over and noticed right away that Candy wasn't sitting properly. We then took her to a specialist and he diagnosed her with luxating patellas, which is essentially loose kneecaps. So what Candy was trying to tell people was, please don't pet me because you're gonna hurt me. Once Candy went on her pain medications, it totally changed her whole disposition. We met this wonderful couple, they adopted her, she's living happily ever after, and she's never had another aggressive moment once we got to the bottom of it. So this is what sets the Animal Adoption Center apart. Other shelters would not have gone this extra mile to figure out what was going on with Candy and why she was acting aggressively. They probably would have euthanized her. Another dog that the Animal Adoption Center went the extra mile to save was a 10-month-old Mastiff named Nero. Soon after coming to the Animal Adoption Center, Nero was diagnosed with a serious case of pneumonia. He didn't respond to initial treatment, and his condition quickly worsened. The vet said, Liz, Nero is gravely ill. He really may not make it, and it's certainly going to be an expensive road to try to regain his health. For 24-hour care, in ICU, on an IV, on oxygen, on a nebulizer, was going to cost about $6,000. Despite the cost, the Animal Adoption Center decided to give Nero a fighting chance. The medication really took hold this time, and he really rebounded fast. Within three or four days, he was back to almost regaining his strength, looking very well. They even felt like he was um, definitely on the path to full recovery. It was about two weeks later when I met up with Ashley, his foster mom, and Nero, and I just couldn't believe how great he looked. I mean, he looked like a puppy again. I knew when I laid eyes on him that we had done the right thing by saving this dog. Nero was soon adopted by a loving family in Philadelphia. I don't believe any other shelter would have gone as above and beyond as the Animal Adoption Center did, both on incurring the cost and giving the care that Nero received. I believe that's what sets us apart. The Animal Adoption Center receives no government funding. Because we are no-kill, we don't get any subsidy from the government at all. We rely solely on donations. Very little of our overhead is covered by adoption fees. And since we ensure that all of our animals leave spayed, neutered, microchipped, and up-to-date on shots, it actually usually costs us more to have the animal than what we recoup in adoption fees. We are always looking for volunteers, we are always looking for fosters, and we are always looking for donors, and obviously looking for adopters as well. So if you happen to be in the market for another family member, please come see us. But if you're looking to help animals in general, and to dedicate some time to animal welfare, uh, we are a great choice.